Is there anything quite so tantalizing, so utterly mind-bending, as the prospect of a regular robot partner? Not just a glorified Roomba that tidies up your socks, mind you, but a genuine companion, a sentient soul, or at least a darn good imitation of one. Clad in synthetic skin and powered by the whirring gears of advanced AI. The very phrase, regular robot partner, itself begs the question. Regular by whose standards? Regular like your morning coffee? Predictable and comforting? Or regular like that one eccentric ant who shows up with a new, baffling anecdote every holiday? Because, let's be honest, the future of AI and robotics isn't just about efficiency. It's about existential shifts that will make us question the very fabric of our humanity. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Imagine, if you will, a being not born of flesh and bone, yet capable of navigating the labyrinthine complexities of human emotion, distinguishing the subtle nuance between a chuckle of amusement and a nervous tick. Can a machine truly grasp the weight of a sigh or the quiet despair in averted eyes? This isn't just about programming a smile. It's about understanding the why behind the smile the cascade of neural firings that leads to that particular facial contortion. We're talking about humanoid robots that can perceive their environment with an acuity that would make a hawk blush, robots that can differentiate between a fallen leaf and a flickering life, robots that can, perhaps, even comprehend the irreversible finality of death. Is that even possible? And if so, what does it mean for us, the biological originals? The concept of regular here is key. Isn't it? Will these partners be as ubiquitous as smartphones, a necessary accessory in our increasingly digitized lives? Or will they remain a luxury, a status symbol for those who can afford a perfectly tailored, endlessly patient confidant? The latest buzz in the field, from the likes of NVIDIA's Isaac GR00T Foundation model enhancing robot reasoning to Tesla's Optimus and Figure AI's Figure 02 making uncanny strides in human-like motion and task execution, certainly points towards a rapid acceleration. Compet are pouring billions into this, aren't they? And why not? The potential market, as Elon Musk gleefully estimates, could be in the trillions. But beyond the staggering zeros, what's the actual human cost or benefit? Consider the technical marvels underpinning this audacious vision. We're not talking about simple algorithms anymore. We're delving into realms of embodied AI and cloud robotics. What does that even mean for the layman? Picture this. Embodied AI is essentially giving a robot a body that's intimately connected to its brain, allowing it to learn and react to the physical world in real time, just like a child learns by touching and falling. It's the difference between reading a textbook on swimming and actually diving into the pool. Then, add cloud robotics to the mix, and suddenly, Every robot on the planet can potentially share its experiences, its lessons, its aha moments through a vast, interconnected digital brain. So, if one robot learns to perfectly fold laundry, countless others instantly gain that domestic prowess. There's a collective consciousness on steroids, isn't it? A Borg-like efficiency, 
but hopefully with less assimilation and more laundry folding. But the real kicker, the truly unsettling yet exhilarating prospect, lies in the notion of these robots understanding life and death. How does one program an appreciation for fragility? Could an AI, however advanced, truly grasp the profound tragedy of loss or the simple joy of a sunrise? Researchers are grappling with theory of mind AI, aiming for robots to understand human emotions and social interactions. But understanding an emotion is one thing. Feeling it is an entirely different kettle of fish. Is it merely a sophisticated simulation, a carefully crafted algorithmic mimicry that perfectly replicates our reactions without ever truly experiencing them? Or could something akin to sentience, a flicker of genuine awareness, emerge from the sheer complexity of their neural networks? This isn't just about a robot not accidentally stepping on your cat. It's about whether it would mourn the cat if it did. The ethical quandaries are already piling up, aren't they? Faster than dirty dishes in a bachelor pad? Discussions around deception, emotional manipulation, and even the potential for robots to displace human relationships are no longer the stuff of speculative fiction. They are very real very pressing concerns for ethicists and psychologists. The question isn't if these advanced humanoid robot partners will arrive, but when, and more importantly, how we will integrate them into our lives. Will they be mere tools, albeit incredibly sophisticated ones, or will they become something more, blurring the lines of what it means to be alive, to be a partner? Will they augment our lives, filling gaps in care, companionship or hazardous labor, as many proponents suggest? Or will they fundamentally alter the human experience, perhaps even diminishing our need for each other, turning genuine human connection into a quaint, nostalgic relic? The prospect is both thrilling and terrifying. A technological Pandora's box with an elegantly articulated, chrome-plated lid. As we stand on the precipice of this robotic revolution, Shouldn't we, as a species, be asking not just what these robots can do for us, but what they will make of us? Because in the grand cosmic dance of technological progress, sometimes the biggest game-changer isn't the invention itself, but the reflection it casts back upon our own evolving definition of existence. So, are we ready for a future where our regular partner might just be powered by silicon, not soul? And if we are, what then? So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.